Okay, so today I'm going to talk about manga versus American comic books. Uh, personally, I think that uh, manga is better for, I guess one of the main reasons, one moment, one of the main reasons would be that, you know, with comic books, you only get like, what, 20, 30 pages of content, but with manga, you know, you get like, well, over 100 pages, you know, you get a lot more ground covered as opposed to a comic. Let me see. Okay. See, like, this, for example, Nightwing, you just get a few pages, a couple advertisements, and it's over. I Maybe mean, it's in full color and all, but, you know, I actually want to get the story finished as opposed to just, you know, seeing just a little snippet of it. And uh, another reason is the uh, price and the availability. I'll say, I'll say price first. Okay. Yeah, price wise, manga does cost more. Cause you know, it's like $8, $12 sometimes, 10 But you get what you pay for. You know, you can get like a couple of days worth of storyline. Whereas with, uh, comic books, okay. Whereas with comic books, you're only getting like, what? It's, it's, it's only cost like $2.99. But now it's three ninety nine. I've noticed this especially with DC Comics. Okay. All right. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but anyway, I've noticed this with like DC Comics in particular. Like at first they said they were drawing the line at two ninety nine. But now it's three ninety nine. And then another thing you have to actually get all the you know, all the stories. You have to get Batman, you have to get Detective Comics, you have to get um uh Batman the Dark Knight, Batman Incorporated, if that's even still around. And that's another thing. Why don't they reset why don't they completely restart everything? Why don't they completely reset the series? Like I was actually I was really getting into it. You know, this this is DC Comics. And I guess it's the same thing with Marvel Comics because you know it's the same format, and then you gotta wait like a month just to get the next chapter, if you would even call it that. So that becomes annoying. Because unlike with manga, where usually you know it's just okay, volume one, chapters one through eight. You know, volume two, chapters eight through sixteen. You know, you know, usually you've got five or so chapters, but you know, you get what I'm saying. You get a lot of, um, you get a lot of uh, ground covered, especially when it comes to manga. See? It's just, I just, and, and so let's see, the thing about it is that manga. The thing about with manga is that you know, once they reach that last uh, volume, it's over. You know, you can just go to another series. You know, have some more fun. But with, with comic books, you have to stick with that series no matter what happens to it. You can't go through Flash. You gotta go through you know, Flash again, Flash again. I mean, Batman. Batman's been around since the '30s. You know, but he's been re he's been like reworked like what two times now let's see he was reworked after the crisis on infinite earths uh, apparently the original one died then you got the batman that we grew up with the animated series and now you have this batman you know the court of owls but you know tell me what you think because personally uh, you know I'm done collecting DC and Marvel comics. This is costing more money, more time, and I'm not getting, I'm really not getting my money's worth. You know, you're just getting a few pages of them talking and maybe flipping across a building, but 
you know, it's not really progressive, I guess I should say. And plus, reading manga makes you look more sophisticated, you know, you're reading from right to left, top to bottom, black and white. And, and uh, also, you know, fan service, you got it like that. Time, so. But, um, yeah, you know, tell me what you think, if you agree with it or not. But, um, personally, I think, you know, personally, I think manga is better, you know, sorry, I mean, <laughs> and, uh, and DC really needs to step up their game anyway, because for Marvel, we have, what, Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man, The Avengers, Hulk, Captain America, we've had so many movies, and at DC, the only good movie we've had so far in a while was The Dark Knight, and that was back, what, four years ago? So, you know, I know it's a bit of a quiet video, but it's late at night, so. I don't want to talk too loud. They get too loud into it. But, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Tell me what you think. Uh, in any case, stay safe, YouTube.